Okay then my friends, so currently when we link to a route from our views like this right here, this is on the welcome view where we link to the create page, we hard code that URL and that's fine. But what if at some point we need to change the URI structure of our routes? For example, what if we changed everything before pizzas to forward slash orders, forward slash pizzas and forward slash orders, forward slash create, etc. for all of these as well. Well then what we'd have to do is go through all of our different view files and update wherever we've linked to this in that code. Like here, we'd have to say forward slash orders, forward slash pizzas, forward slash create, and do that everywhere in all of our views. Now, if you've got a load of different views with a load of different links, you're not gonna enjoy doing that. So there is a nice way to combat this so that if you do change your link structure over here, then you don't have to go through all of your different views and update them as well. And that is by using what's known as named routes. So what we could do is apply a name to each one of our routes right here. And then when we want to link to that particular route, we don't use this endpoint or URI. Instead, we use the name of the route over here. So if it changes, the URL itself, we don't have to update it over here because we're referencing the name of the route and not the actual link to it. So the first thing we need to do is actually use the name method on this. So I'm gonna put it before the middleware. So name like so, and I'm gonna say this one is gonna be pizzas.index. And then I could do the same one for this. So I'm gonna say this is pizzas, first of all name, then pizzas.index create. And the reason we say pizzas.index and pizzas.create is to just namespace this a little bit because later on we might have a different resource type and we might have a create page for that, for example kebabs, and we might have an index page for that. So that would be kebabs.index and kebabs.create because you can't just call them all index or all create. We namespace them a little bit. So now we've done that, imagine we wanted to update our links. And in fact, let's just add this as well to the others. So I'm gonna say name for this one is the store, so pizzas.store. And then the name for this one is gonna be pizzas.show. So pizzas.show. And then finally, the name for this one is gonna be pizzas.destroy. Okay, so if I wanna to link to any of these, even if it's a post request or a delete request, I can just reference them now by the name. So if we save this and then go back to the welcome view, instead of hard coding this link, I can output double curly braces because we're outputting a variable here. And then I use the route function. And in here, I pass in the name of the route I wanna use. Well. This one was to order a pizza, that's the create route, and I call this pizzas.create. So I'd say pizzas.create, and I'll save that. And that's gonna dynamically output whatever the route is right here. So currently, that is forward slash orders, forward slash pizzas, forward slash create. So if I try this out, so if I go home, first of all, then go to order a pizza, Click that, it works, and look at the URL. It's forward slash orders, forward slash pizzas, forward slash creates. Now, if I change this to just forward slash pizzas, forward slash create again, save that and refresh, then this doesn't exist anymore, orders, pizzas, create. But if I go back to the home screen and I go to order a pizza, now we get the correct URI. So this is a nice approach. Now. What about if we need to pass some data? For example, in this one, in the show view, we have an ID which we pass through as a route parameter. So how would we do that? Because if we're using a named route, currently we'd say something like this route, and then the route we want is actually to delete or destroy something. So I'm gonna go over here and check what that is. Pizzas.destroy, copy that and paste it in here. So this would take us to this route right here, but we need to pass in an ID. Now, when you're using named routes, you just do that as a second parameter in this route function. So now I would pass in the pizza, like so, and from the pizza, we would want the ID. And remember, we have access to the pizza right here because we pass it into this view. So 
I'm going to save that and then I'm going to go to a show. Let me go to the forward slash pizzas first of all, then a show view. Oops, we can't do that because we changed the URI. Let me go back over here and change this to forward slash pizzas and come back over here and refresh. Now let's click on this and this was the one we just changed. This is the show view and this is the button right here, the delete button, which we changed the action for. Okay, so this should still work. So complete order and it does still work because that order has now gone. So there we go. That is named routes. Much easier when you've got a lot of views and a lot of linking between different pages so that you don't have to constantly update your links if you update your route structure. And that, my friends, pretty much completes our project. So next, I'm just going to show you one more thing, a shortcut when it comes to making models, controllers and migration files.